Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here. I've got this 2014-2015 Honda with the K24 Earth Dream engine. And it doesn't seem to be very much information on this engine at all. It came in with the typical rattle for the hydraulic timing chain tensioner, which is common on Hondas. Uh, the only catch is with the Earth Dream engine, there's a manufacturer's defect in the tensioner and the engine itself that causes it to break. And so we've been running through that as we've already broken one new tensioner after installing it, getting it to run. And ultimately what it does is it causes the timing chain to become loose and can cause damage over time. Uh, basically, if it happens while you're driving and all that other good stuff, luckily we realized through our post-op checks that the engine was just off just a little bit. Something wasn't right. So we went back in looking for a needle in a haystack and found the timing tensioner issue. And there's a video that covers that. So I've got the new tensioner installed, everything put back together. And so I'm turning the engine over by hand. And as I'm turning it over by hand, I'm seeing what Honda is talking about. Now what Honda is saying is is actually not the tensioner that has necessarily the defect. What it is is it's the VVT on the exhaust back there. I'm sorry, not the exhaust, the intake. It's the VVT on the intake and that the exhaust and the intake cams slam open and close. The valve slam open and closed on the K24 Earth Dream engine harder than they do on the other K24 engines. And that causes the piston of the tensioner to slam back down on its teeth. That in turn will cause the teeth to shear off and the piston travels further back down than what it's supposed to. And that causes the timing chain to become loose. So I've got it all installed and sure enough, I kept a close eye on it. You can see how it's working. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up and show you that. And then I'm gonna show you the temporary fix that Honda has posted in an article on, in Motor Trend to overcome this while you're working on it. Cause it honestly has kind of caused a little bit of a nightmare. So I'm gonna get set up to show you that now. All right, so I've got us set up now. I'm going to turn the engine over. Now watch how that piston travels back. Okay, here we go. See how far that piston goes back down? Okay, and so what Honda says is a temporary fix is to reset the timing tensioner and then manually move it out one extra tooth. So that way when it travels back, if you move the piston towards the timing chain, which in this case would be up one tooth, then it cannot travel as far back as it normally would. And so that's what Honda is saying is the fix for that. So now I'm gonna show you what it does to the chain. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it over. And so this happens again, low speeds, at idle, at startup, anytime oil pressure is low. And again, it's only on the Earth Dream. It's only on the K24 Earth Dream. Now watch, watch that chain. When we come around, and those exhaust valves on this side, you see that? Right there, I was able to stop it. Okay, pistons traveled too far back. And so you saw it there for yourselves. Now I'm gonna put in this video the link to the article in Motor Trend that covers this issue. And uh, so that way you can read up on it in case you run into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and lock my timing back down. 
uninstall that tensioner and I'm gonna reset it myself manually uh, with one tooth out and then see if I can manipulate it back in and get it installed. Uh, and bottom line is the chain should not be loose like that when you turn it over by hand. It shouldn't be loose like that at all. And so in that article, you'll see it explained that the exhaust cams, the exhaust cam closes too fast, too rapidly, and too hard. And that's what's causing that slack and that piston to go back and forth. So, so there you go, folks. There's some information, some more information on the Honda K24 Earth Dream engine. It's kind of a nightmare, but we are finally getting over it. And so we are excited about that. So thanks guys for coming out and checking out our channel and supporting us. If you have any questions, shoot them to us in the comments. I'm super excited that we have other people that can answer your questions and stuff. And I love the fact that we're building a really cool community where people can come and share knowledge and information and get help and all that other stuff. So there are others out there. If I can't get to your question, I have noticed there are others out there that can get to them as well. And so thank you to those on my channel that are willing to step up and help others answer their questions. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.